Hi and welcome back to our Sprinter build series. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how I upholstered the walls um, in my van with fabric. And when I first went to do this project I was surprised that I didn't find one video on YouTube that showed how people go and make a nice padded and upholstered wall panel in a van. So um, what I found was some videos that showed how to upholster a door panel. So that seems to be pretty close in theory to what I'm doing here. So um, of course I'm not an upholsterer. I learned everything that I did here on watching a few videos on YouTube. But I wouldn't necessarily consider this a how-to video. I think what I would recommend is watching this video, um, see how I upholstered the panels and put them together, and um, I'll show you around here. You'll see that, that they came out pretty nice. But um, anyway, maybe use this as, as a guide to some of the techniques you might use. And then what I would do is look up some door panel upholster videos, because upholstering a door panel seems to be closer to what we're doing here in a van than anything else. So yeah, so watch this video and poke around and look at a couple of those those other upholstery videos and I think you'll be well on your way. So let's take a look how this came out. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today we're going to put on the foam and the upholstery. So I'm going to start by, you need to remember what side you're working on. So this will be my finished side. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to trace the rough outline of this onto the foam. Then what I'll do, I'll flip this over. I'll spray glue on the face of this. I'll get it out of the workspace. Then I'll spray glue on the foam and then I'll put the two together and then we'll follow up with the tree afterward. Now that I have this glued up, I don't want to wrap the foam around the edges on this one. It just makes it too thick. So I'm going to go around with a flat bladed razor blade and just cut the foam right at the line.
there's the foam on our wall panel. This particular panel I'm going to cover in vinyl. So I have the vinyl face down. I'm going to do the same as I did with the foam, and I'm going to trace out the rough outline um, of the wall panel onto the, the vinyl. And then I'll flip it over, spray, and but I have to leave, make sure to leave enough material here so that it can wrap and glue on the back side. Now I'm going to just cut the excess material off. Now I'm going to trim the corners the best that I know how. This part is tough. I have not figured out a good way to do this.
Now on this wall panel, I actually want to wrap the foam around the bottom. And that's because I want the thickness down here so that it can lock into the top of the flange on my L-Track. But I'm going to trim the rest of the foam back. And in fact, um, I'm not going to come all the way up up here because that's where the factory headliner sits. And I want to leave a little bit of room there. And with the foam, the foam adds, the foam pulls on the headliner a little bit. So I can show you that later. So I'm going to just try trace the rough outline of where I want this.
on the upholstery front because I wanted this seamless, screwless look. I screwed my trim ring, as you probably remember, um, to my wall board. So when you go to wrap the material, you can only wrap it really one time. So once I wrapped around here, um, there's these reliefs that I have to cover up. So my lovely girlfriend came up with an idea, and that was taking a piece of tweed, folding it in half and gluing it to itself. And that gives you this a little bit nicer edge than just a cut edge. So I did that and now I'm going to glue this all the way around in this fashion. And that'll give kind of a pleated, I don't know if that's the right work, I know nothing about upholstery. So um, anyway, it gives kind of a, a little edge here that I think looks nice, but it will cover up this. So now I'm going to tape this off so I don't get glue on my wall and glue this thing down. not how an upholsterer would do it, but it's going to do the job. I went through and put some staples in the back side just to make sure. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, everything that I used in terms of the upholstery and the glue and the gun, um, I'm going to link here. Um, one thing to note is I read some varying things about using 3M90 on your walls. I guess the 3M spray adhesive works well for like really small panels, but I've been told that for really large panels like these, that the glue eventually doesn't stick. So I use 3M90 for gluing these small sections straight to the metal and I get the impression that that's all right, but I basically found out that it's not so good to do it on large panels like this. So I used a professional glue and then I used a gun on Amazon that had really good reviews. So I'll link all that in this video and also link my store where I've kind of organized by category um, all the products I'm using in my, my van built in total. All right guys, thanks for watching.